us again to break down those results, Stephen Caliendo, political science professor at North Central College. So thanks for joining us this morning sure. early. New Hampshire's always interesting in right. terms of the political season. So sure. does Donald Trump's win mean that Ted Cruz is in trouble? Um, I, I think Ted Cruz, he, he's, he's campaigning for the non-mainstream the, the non vote anyway. And mm -hmm. so um, I, I think the, the Iowa is even more unique than New Hampshire in a lot of ways, not just because the demographics are unique, but because they're caucusing instead of having primaries. Mm -hmm. So as we move to the Republicans, are going to South Carolina next, and it's going to be very interesting there. It's an open primary, which means that people from other parties could cross over if they chose to do so. But more importantly, it's a first in the, first in the nation southern primary and uh, so that's going to make a big difference sure. really yeah. the, the region where they're doing this has had an impact no also question. what about Bernie Sanders though so it was predicted that he would win but what does this mean for Hillary Clinton's campaign now well, I, you're right. You can't take a lot out of it from Bernie Sanders. He can't get too excited because it's a neighboring state. Um, Nevada is actually next uh, for the Democrats. They're going to caucus there a week from Saturday, and then after that, they move to South Carolina. That'll be important for the Democrats because that will be the largest percentage of black voters that uh, the Democrats are going to see. It's, uh, South Carolina has the fifth largest African-American percentage of citizens, and so uh, how the black voters are going to turn out in the Democratic primary will be interesting. All right. We're going to see you back here at 6 o'clock to okay. break down some more for Stephen Caliendo. Thank you very Sounds much. Good. Thank you.